Selena Gomez is the latest star accused of stealing the rights of independent artists. Many independent artists have accused celebrities such as Selena Gomez of copying their work, sparking debate about the difference between taking inspiration from a creator and stealing from them. Hello viewers, welcome to Leo Entertains. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on your favorite celebrities. Selena Gomez, a Grande Prairie native, is facing charges of plagiarizing the work of Palestinian-Australian director and photographer Sarah Baba in her love on music video. Baba is a well-known artist with 1 million followers on Instagram. She is known for her catwalk work, which includes peach-colored photographs with poetic interpretation resembling film stills. So it wouldn't be surprising if Selena Gomez, or at least someone on her team, would find a source of inspiration among Baba's work. But instead of cooperating, Baba says she was robbed. What I'm about to share happens all too often to women of color in this industry, Baba said in an Instagram video on Friday, in which she addressed comparisons between her work and Gomez's video. The video points out similarities between Gomez's video and two of her short films, I underscore 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 you and Untangled, and side-by-side -side comparisons. Gomez's team used the same location, including multiple scenes in the rooms used by Baba, as well as a similar design and composition. One particularly damning example is a shot of Gomez lounging on a couch in a similar pose to the one depicted in the painting above it. Not only does Baba's film showcase this concept, but the scene in question was filmed in the same room against the same wall as Gomez's version. Baba's short films were released in 2022 and 2023, and Gomez's Love On was released at the end of last February. According to Baba, this is not the first time Gomez has done this. In 2018, Baba claimed that Gomez copied her signature style in her Back to You music video. Baba told her followers who wanted more information about this incident to simply search for it on Google, as it received significant media coverage at the time. Comments on Baba's video are currently turned off. She cited the hateful responses from Gomez's fans as the reason. Baba is not the first artist to accuse celebrities of stealing their work. She's not even the only one speaking out this week. Fall Out Boy is currently facing similar accusations from Los Angeles-based indie recording artist Dave and I, who took to TikTok to call out the band so much for Stardust music video for allegedly copying visuals from their video, don't do that. Be very clear. Like Baba, Dave and I provided side-by-side -side comparisons of similarly styled and framed shots. Dave and I's video features scenes of flamboyant cowboys wearing hats and French-trimmed jackets, dancing in a saloon, looking through pinhole lenses, and singing with their silhouetted features against the lights. Fallout Boy's video, released nine months after Dave and I's, also contains these visual elements, and the similarities are undoubtedly striking. Dave and I believe that due to the crossover between his network and Fallout Boys, it is possible that the band's team saw his video before creating their own. We are aware of the relationships between the executive producers of the Fallout Boy video and the senior creative decision makers on my videos, some of which involve prior working relationships, he told The Observer. We feel they likely saw the video on social media as it was circulated by everyone who was working on it. It's a tough one. Anyone can watch a video on YouTube, copy it, and claim they never saw it. 